This digital work has been made in a real guide and I was asked whether we can make a surgical guide from this. It's pretty easy to do. I'm going to go through this. Now these have been imported into Blender. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go Control i to select the inverse and click on H on the keyboard. Okay, so from here we're going to go in Edit Mode, Tab. I'm going to zoom in and double click on one of these edges like that. Then I'm going to go to the next one. Now make sure you do this carefully because you're going to hold down the Shift key and double click on that edge. Now we've got to zoom in, sh hold the Shift down and double click on the edge like that. So that's three and the last one we're going to do exactly the same thing. Zoom in and double click like this. Next we'd like to separate these out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a shift, hold the shift and then the D key to duplicate, then click on P to separate P and then we're going to click on selection. Now and then exit. So tab to exit. Now we'll see we've got all of these little discs on the scene. This is exactly what we want. Now I've been told that the offset is 6.5 millimeters. I know that this is uh, 4 millimeters. I've been told this is 4 millimeters from here to there. So I'm going to go tab A and I'm going to go extrude. So E to extrude and you'll notice all these blue lines, these are the Z axis in local axis. I'm going to type on my keyboard 6.5 enter and then tab to get out of it. Now we've got an extension of 6.5 and we know that this is 4 millimeters, so we want the hole to be 4 millimeters in diameter. Now ideally we need to get a sleeve in there. Easily done, go to the guide module. Navigate down to sleeves for other systems. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to separate these into their own little uh, cylinders. So in this uh, um, menu here we're going to um, we're going to find a separate button. So if you don't find that uh, you can look f uh, somewhere else to just find a separate button. So we've got them distributed amongst the modules. In the model designer here, there's one over here. So you click separate. So now we've got them all separate. This is a starting point. Go back to sleeves for other systems and you're going to select one of them and you're going to go edit uh, cylinder. And this gives us a clearance of 0 0.1. Now, we want to keep this minimal. Um, you can keep it at 0 0.1. This depends on your printer resin uh, settings. So actually, I'm going to uh, keep this at 0 0.1 so that the, the drill can go through there nicely. We're going to then apply that. Select the top of the, the face like that and then create a sleeve. And then you'll notice we've got a sleeve and then SZ to make it a bit shorter and then punch a hole through it. This is one. I'm, I'm going to do one more to demonstrate how this works. So edit, uh, uh, cylinder clearance, apply that, select your face and then create sleeve SZ uh, to uh, change the, the, the um, Z to make it a bit shallower and then punch a hole through it. So I'll just do this um, again but I'll fa fast forward. Alright now we're at the stage where we've got our guide cutters made and we've got our hole cutters made and this is where we proceed now to make our guide. If you had to measure from the top of it it should then be 6.5 which it is.